Shalom, God bless you. Hope this particular message meets you well. This is Freedom Zone. In this zone, I give you spiritual tips, spiritual remedies that are going to be helping you out of darkness into light. In this channel, I give you so many tips. If you go down, you're going to see lots of videos that are going to be helping you. But in our today's topic, what I want to tell you is what you have to stop doing to progress. If you want to progress, if you want to go to next level, you must stop doing this. And the number one is Momo. Even God hates Momo. God hated it when the children of Israel like Momo. Momo as in complain. Listen, anytime you pray, anytime you pray or you do a particular work, don't Momo. Don't complain. Oh, I have done this. Or oh, I've been praying. I've been going to church. Can I tell you something? The Bible says, surely they will gather. But that if the gathering is not of God, that they must surely scatter. So the gathering is inevitable. You can't stop the gathering. They will surely gather. So if they gather once and you scatter them and they gather again and you say you are tired, they will win you. That is where they are getting you. If they gather once, you scatter, they gather again, you scatter, and they gather again. You say, no, I'm tired. Why would they keep gathering about me like that? Even when your Bible said it, you more, more complain. Oh, my own is too much. I'm suffering too much. Uh, I, I feel like committing suicide. You are, you, you are murmuring. You are, it will stop and delay your progress. It will stop you from reaching the next level. And then number two, stop saying your plans. Stop saying your plans. Let me tell you something. There are lots of you watching me right now. You will testify to this that there were most plans you had before or even this year you said it out to someone else but till now you have not yet achieved it you had plans of maybe to build a house maybe you were saving money to to buy a car or to buy a land or maybe a job opportunity was coming for you and then you always say it out to that your best friend or that your closest brother or that your closest sister you are always saying those plans out but the problem now is each time you say them out you don't see them coming again if you want to be great, if you want to be successful, if you want to have progress, you have to stop saying your plan. Keep it within yourself until it manufactures. Let me tell you something. God saw you and know that you are the best man for the job. That is why he gave it to you. Nobody can do that work as best as you can. I'm not saying you should not relate your plan with somebody like for advice. I'm not sure you should say, but okay, I want to do this. This is what my plan is. I want to do this. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying don't allow people to advise you. No, that's not what I'm saying. Anybody can advise you. But in a situation whereby before you take a step, you have already said it out to everybody. And later on, you may be somebody promised you money, maybe a million. And then before the money comes, you have told your wife, you have told your children, you have told your friend, oh, I'm expecting a million by month end, And once it comes, I'm going to do this. And later on, the person turns you down. Not everybody is happy for your next level. Not everybody is happy to hear that something great is about to happen in your life. Do you know that people, human being spirit is very powerful? So if you want it to manifest, keep it within yourself. Don't say it out. Just hold it. Keep it within yourself and watch as it grows. Don't allow, don't allow anybody to come and undo your plan. Even if they try to ask you, tell them it's well. And see how things are going to be going well in your life. Then our number, our number three here. Stop giving the devil chance in your life. Stop giving the devil chance. Somebody will now ask me, uh, Apostle, how can I give the devil chance? You can give the devil chance by speaking him into your things. Being negative. Oh, my own is finished. I know they will sack me from this job. I know my manager does not like me. I know he hates me. I know there's nothing I do that pleases him. After all, I'm not the only person in this world. After all, I'm not. No, speak positive. Be positive about your life. I am a child of God. I am his resurrection. I am the light. No power formed against me shall prosper. When you wake up, speak positive things about yourself. I am going there. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know what is going to happen. I am going there. They, let me tell you something. The shocking miracle in Ezekiel 37 didn't happen by him doing anything. It happened by a spoken word. He said, and I was carried in the spirit to the valley filled with dry bones. And it caused me to walk around about them. And it say, he said, what do you see? Yes, I see bones. They're very dry. He said, son of man, can this bone rise again? And he said, only thou knoweth. He says, speak to it. And say, and as I speak, I had bones cracking. 
and I saw flesh came to flesh, bone came to bone. There is power in your word. The Bible said, The words I speak shall not return back to me void, but shall accomplish it, people, wheresoever I sent it. The word is quick and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, piercing to the bone and the marrow. The Bible says, Is the divider of the intent and the thought of men, the flower with the red, the grass faded, but the word of the Lord shall stand forever. Let me tell you something. No matter the situation you see yourself, no matter the circumstances you see yourself, you have to hold on to the word. You have to hold on to the word. If you have spoken something about yourself or you have done a particular remedy or an assignment to get rich, you have to stay with that positive mind. I am getting rich. I am meeting great people. Things are changing in my life. Let everything about you become positive. When people look at you, let them see positive things attached to you. Let people not see any form of negativity. Believe me, after hearing this and you change this, your life is turning for good. Say it to yourself. Say, my life is turning for good. And if you believe this, comment it right now. Say, my life is turning for good. Let it be your song every day. You will not know how it will happen. Believe me, it's going to be a change, a drastic change. And everything in your life is going to change. So, of man, let me tell you something. That there are battles in your life does not mean God is absent. There are things you have to pass through. It's a making. It's a process for where God is taking you. I don't want you to be discouraged. I want you to be very strong. And I hope to see you in the next level. Say to yourself, I am a great person. My life is turning around for good. Say it to yourself. And I hope and wish that as you speak it, you are going to see it manifesting. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. So please don't forget to like this video. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, this is Freedom Zone. As early as I told you, in this channel, I give you spiritual tips, spiritual remedies that are going to be helping you out of darkness to light. If you want to break your family limitation, family background, come to Freedom Zone. We handle it here. You're going to see lots of videos that are going to be helping you. So please subscribe now so that whenever I drop another video, you'll be the first person to watch it. I love and celebrate you and hope to see you in my next video. God bless you.